Patrick, it's great to be on the Fujitsu stand here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Uh, Open RAN, obviously a big topic at the show, and I know you all have a new portfolio announcement, so maybe you can give us the details. Absolutely. Uh, so in uh, Barcelona here, we're introducing our new radio portfolio. So it's basically the first uh, three products that we are launching. We will be adding more products throughout the year, but the first three products is basically starting with a, a compact mid-power radio, four times 40 watt, single band optimized, and then going through a dual band, high power macro, which is capable of 60 watts per band per port, so basically 408 watts in total. And then we're also introducing our massive MIMO high capacity product, which is 64 TRX, 400 watts output power capable. So as I go around the FIRA and talk to some of the operators here, you know, there's this really uh, intense focus on OPEX reduction right now, and power saving is a big part of that. So how is Fujitsu thinking about uh, passing that on to their customers? So we're basically working with different methodologies. So one is the raw hardware efficiency that we're working with. And here we are utilizing, uh, for instance, uh, gallium nitride power amplifiers throughout our whole portfolio. In addition to that, we're also deploying uh, proprietary PA architectures and energy efficiency algorithms that we are uh, helping to improve our overall power efficiency on the hardware side. In addition to that, we also have features that are optimizing the power efficiency in accordance with the actual traffic load of the radio. And then I also, I was looking around the stand earlier and I saw the beam through antenna. Maybe you can give us a little detail on that particular unit. Yeah, so on the beam through antenna, we're working with a company called Kaelus. Uh, and they are basically a company developing site equipment and antennas. And so we are uh, bundling our massive MIMO antenna together with their see-through uh, technology antenna into a total solution. Uh, which means that uh, we can provide the support for the passive bands, uh, so the low band and, and mid band ports uh, through the passive antenna, and we can mount our massive MIMO antenna on the back side of the antenna and basically radiate straight through the antenna. So it's basically it's a way to reduce the number of antenna positions in the tower. So it's uh, particularly suitable for site constraint sites or for space constraint sites where you have. Uh, limited space in the tower. Uh, this is very efficient means, and what makes this particular solution a bit unique is the low loss that we see, low impact on the performance from the massive MIMO antenna, where we only lose uh, 0.2 dB. Wow, and you know, just a big picture about Open RAN, you know, this is a conversation the industry's been having for about five years now, give or take. Fujitsu's been part of it since the beginning. It seems like we're reaching a pretty interesting inflection point. We're seeing announcements about major deployments, not just greenfield, but brownfield. Just really, how would you appraise where we are today and kind of what do you think we, we should expect in the next few years? I think from, uh, from our perspective, uh, I think it started quite well with a couple of greenfield operators that did fairly large deployments. After that, it's somewhat halted a little bit and then the step to come into brownfield deployments has been a little bit challenging to take. I think from our perspective, what we see in the movement in the market right now is we believe things will happen this year and uh, uh, come to fruition in terms of commercial terms, uh, maybe in 25 and onwards. Well, it's an exciting time to be part of the Open RAN conversation and I appreciate getting to have it with you here today. Thanks for having me.